What's up guys, Bushy Collector here, welcome back! <laughs> Let's do it again, as I promised with another cosmic character, the Annihilation Thanos from the comic book Annihilation, Annihilation Quest, blah 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 Read the mother comic book Anyway, let's start the review This statue is huge, as you can see Very big But it's in scale, it's a one for scale, you know Usually we see Thanos crouching like that Or sitting on throne, you know But this time he is completely standing straight And this is very big I check with the head of the sideshow, you know, the head is exactly the same side of the Thanos on throne, so it's exactly the same scale, but because it is standing straight, this is very big. Let's start directly with the 360. The pose is super majestic and badass in the same time. This is very nice. There is some switch out with the piece for the arms like that. I'm gonna put this here for the moment and there is a second head. It was also sculpted by Elton Souza who did the King Gladiator and I'm gonna display both together later in the review and you're gonna see this is amazing. Let's continue. The 360 There was also a light up with it, you know here You can put light up It's going inside the base but The battery are dead So it doesn't work And it's very nice, you know, because usually with light up Inside the base you cannot change it When the battery is over, you know, but this time There is a way, you know To put it out by yourself and you can change the battery anyway this one doesn't work but I'm gonna take my phone you know and put the light under the base to show you how it looks when you put the light up. if I take my phone you know using the light of the phone you're gonna see I'm gonna put it under the base and then you're gonna see the light passing through the the clear resin over here let's try and that you see this is pretty cool and later on the close-up I'm gonna show you there is a glowing effect on the crater of the base this is pretty cool as well guys there, there is a lot of detail there is texture everywhere yes here on the little piece of metal it's, a, it's smooth it's smooth texture but everywhere else you see texture everywhere little texture rock texture oh yeah this is smooth more or less yeah, this is smooth. Another texture for the pants, another texture for the for the suit, you know, on top, for the shoulder pad. This is the same, this part of the texture is the same as the as the pants. The skin texture is amazing at the paint job. There is a lot of details, a lot. So let do the switch out. We can display the statue both fists like that this is pretty badass as well I really like it like that and with this hand you know like that this is very nice you can do it as ever you want you know this is pretty cool and there is a second head more realistic you know with the with stickers for the eyes very nicely done and for this one this is the real Thanos from the comic book you know with the with the deep space in the eyes you know all black with a little sparkle in the middle this is amazing I love this one but this one is pretty bad as well look at that Close the time. Let's 
once again Elton Souza did an amazing job I don't know if you remember for the OG collectors you know there was a statue of uh, Annihilation Thanos back in the day you know on the Philippine studio I don't remember if it was Master or Halimo or something like that you know and it was pretty cool at the time <laughs> but this is another level look at that as I said you know there is texture everywhere here the texture on the boots the texture on the pants another kind of leader on the pockets you know on the belt the anatomy proportions are amazing. Look at that. Eyes. Deep space. <laughs> With the sparkle in the middle. Oh, this is so nice. You see the detail of the paint job on the skin tone? Look at that. This is pretty cool. Once again, the study of the hands. Look at that. This is the same sculptor from King Gladiator. He really did an amazing job. Look at those hands. This is very nice. Look at the switch out. This is very beautiful. Let's put this head. This one is more realistic, you know. Look at the eyes, completely different. Real eyes. This is very, very, very nice. But I'm a comic book fan, so both are great, but I will say this one is my favorite. Check the back of the statue. Oh man. The glowing effect inside the crater. As you can see. And this is the light up. And it's pinned inside, in the middle. Over there. Let me show you inside this clear resin you put it inside but there is no more battery I'm gonna show you how it looks with the with the light of my phone See the difference with without with you see with the light up this is super cool I need to put battery over here and it will be okay. It's quite a set, pretty cool like that. Hope you enjoyed the review guys, I'm gonna make a third review today and I believe I'm gonna show you how Thanos, King Gladiator and the third review I'm gonna do right now gonna look together. Take care. I changed my mind. We're gonna finish the review like that with both sculptures from Elton Souza, both cosmic characters. This is absolutely awesome, awesome, very classy. It fit together in the same time. I believe this is the way I will display the statues. But stay tuned, as I promised. I'm gonna make another review today and I'm gonna show you all three statues together. Take care guys. Peace. And I forgot something. Cobra Kai never die. Happy New Year guys. All the best for you and your family. The most important be healthy. Much love and respect. Happy collecting from the Bushi. Take care. Peace. Let us know, let us know, let us know.